Good morning, everybody. My name is Phuc Do. I'm professor of the University of Information Technology, Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City. Today, I will present chapter three, part one. It is the outline of this chapter. In this chapter, I will show you the relational model basic. I will show you all about tables, columns, and data types matching values about the alternative technologies used in relational model. I will show you about the sequence create table statement. Then I will discuss with you about integrity rules. The rules are based on the primary and foreign keys. I will show you about rules about reference row. Now let me go to tables. You know relational database is a collection of tables. In tables you have a table name and column names. And the body of the table are rows, or currency of data. You see here is an example of student table. In this student, you have five columns. I mean column student social affairs or number, student last name, student major, student class, and student CPA. And here you have three rows. I mean the first row for student last name, waist. Then you see a number and candles. Now I go to create table statement. You see create table student. In this case, they want to create a table named student. And you have a few student social serial number, student first name, student last name, student sixty, student state, student zip, student major, and student class and student GPA. And you see about data time. Let the time determine set of values, I mean permissible values of the field or attribute. And here you see the data time will vary based on the DBMS. And here you see character, it means the fixed length character string. And where character, it means variable length character strings. And this I mean fixed precision numbers. Now I go to common data types, and I told you before, you have a character, you have a variable character, you have an integer, you have plot, you have day and time, you have a decimal, the boolean. And now let me go to relationship. You see the relationship is the link between or among tables. And you see here, you can give relationship to combine tables using the matching values. The reason of database you can have many tables, as you know, maybe maybe more than hundreds of tables. But you can use relationship to link the data in the tables. In this case, you link the student table with the enrollment, and you link the enrollment with offerings. Now I go to alternative terminology. You see, you have a table-oriented terminology. You have a set-oriented terminology. You have a record-oriented terminology. So maybe it's in term table-oriented terminology, you have a table. So your table can be a relation in set-oriented terminology, and maybe a record time find in a record-oriented. Remember, set oriented is a mathematical notation, and when you study about the database theory, you will build, you will use about set oriented terminology. I mean, you use relation. A record oriented is used in the community, very popular, and a table oriented. This way is a very familiar, familiar. Now I go to integrity rules. You see, entity integrity may be the primary case. A table has columns, or maybe a combination of columns with unique values. And you see, this primary key and true entity are traceable. You also have referential integrity. I mean, the foreign keys. In this case, values of a column in one table match value in a soft table and ensure value reference among tables you have an example 
integrity. For example, you see student roles are unique, identified by student social serial number. Offering roles are unique, identified by offer number. Enrollment roles are unique, identified by the combination of student social serial number and offer number. Enrollment, stu enrollment student social serial number refer to a valid student social serial number value in the student table and offering number of enrollment table refers to a valid offer number in the offering table. Now let me go to formal definition. I mean super keys I will is a column with unique values. A candidate key minimal super key. A non value, special value meaning value unknown or inapplicable. Primary key is a, a designate candidate key. And primary key cannot contain non values. Foreign keys is main columns who values must make the values in the candidate key of another table. And you see here, I, you have uh, like super keys. I focus on the unique value. Candidate key, I focus on the unique without extra columns. None value. For example, you see, you do not know phone numbers. Value is unknown. Or primary key maybe should be stable. It be names even. If unit, okay, can change. No known value. And for a key, I mean you can use to link columns uh, between uh, tables. Now I go to formal definition of entity integrity. No two rows with the same primary key value. No known value in any part of a primary key. Refresh of integrity. I mean, for a key smart make candidate key of sort table. For a keys can be null in some cases. In sequence, for a key associated with primary keys. This is an example of box table. I use a create table statement to create box table. And here you see box number, box description, box unit, and you have a two constraints. The first one is the primary key. In this case, primary key is based on the Cox number. And you also have another constraint, I mean unique cost decryption. Now I go to an example of create enrollment table. I use a statement create table enrollment. And I have the few offer number, student social serial number. And run grade. And I have three constraints. The first one is a constraint about primary key. In this one, I have a composition of attribute, I mean offering number and student social serial number. Then I have second constraint based on the foreign key. In this case, is offering number. And then I have Another constraint based on for key student social serial number. Now I go to another create table statement. I will create offering table. I will create table offering. In this case, I have the attribute so that offer number, cost number, offer location. Of a days, of a terms, of a year, a faculty social serial number, and of a time. And I have a three constraint. The first one is constraint for primary key, I mean of a number. The second one is a constraint based on foreign key, I mean cost number. And the third one, I mean constraint based on foreign key, I mean faculty social serial number. And this constraint will link with the faculty table. Now let me go to cell referencing relationship. You see for a key that 
referencing the same table. You can use self referencing relationship to present relationship among members of the same set and not common but important in specialized situation. Common self referencing relationship you can use it in the organization chart. For example, you see the man she relationship who supervise whom. Or you can still in use in gene knowledge chart. I mean the ancestor and descendant relationship. Or maybe you can use in the Cox, I mean prerequisite score. For example, you see when you study about database management, the prerequisites for this score, you must study maybe uh, discrete structure before you study database design. Now let me go to frequency data. This is an example. You see this table, you have uh, six fields, six fields, six attributes. And in this case, you have uh, six, six uh, employees. And here, you see the faculty supervisor and it is cell referencing. I mean, here you see reference represent the social serial number of the supervising faculty and none allowed because the top box doesn't have a supervisor. And here, now we go to the next slide, we will see about hierarchical data display. And you see the Victoria and Manuel is the boss of Leonard Fitman. And the fit, Leonard Fitman is the boss of two employees, I mean Leonard Vince and Christopher Collin. Uh, remember here, Victoria and Marion has no boss. I mean, no values for fact supervisor, for fact supervisor columns. Okay, now let me go to another definition. I mean, you will use a create table statement to create a faculty table. In this table, you had the faculty social serial number. You have faculty first name, faculty last name, faculty city, faculty stack, faculty zip code, faculty higher day, faculty department, and faculty supervisor. And you had two constraints. The first one is a primary key, I mean faculty social serial number. And another constraint, I mean the foreign key, based on the field faculty supervisor and, and reference it to faculty table. And you see here is a, I mean visual display, and you see a visual relationship, relationship windows with one to many relationship, and visual representation is easier to comprehend than create table statement. And you have a one and undefined symbol here. I mean one to many. And student can have a many enrollments. Student is the parent, parent table. And them is a child table. And for the case, it shows near the undefined symbol. And here you see the meaning of the faculty table. Asset representation for a cell referencing relationship. And faculty one is not a real table. Now I go to many to many relationship. You see rows of each table are related to multiple rows of the other table not directly represented in the relational model and you can use two one to many relationship and an associated table to extract the many to many relationship and you have the sample student and offering tables you see student can take many offerings and offering can have a many enrolled student enrollment table and one to many relationship represent this Many to many relationship. Now I go to reference row. Reference row, I mean for the key reference row in the associated primary key table. Enrollment rows refer to student and offering. An action on reference rows, you can delete a reference row. You can change the primary key of a reference row. And reference row integrity should not be violated. Now I go to the syntax of sequence for action. You see here, create table enrollment, 
and you have the fee offering number, student social serial number, and run grade, and you have read the time, integer for offering number, character, student social serial number, and read grade uh, decimal. Now I go to the summary of what I did. The first one is I discussed with you about relational model. It's commercial dominant. It's very simple and familiar. But you see, relational model have a theor theoretical sound. I mean, mathematical sound. And a lot of research for relational model. And we also have standard for SQL. Sequent, I mean, standard. And understand the database is a prerequisite to query formulation. And you learn about primary keys, about data types, and foreign keys. And you also learn about data visualization. I mean, visualization help you and to show you the direct and indirect connection among tables. Thank you for your learning.